Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your Daily Gwent. How you doing? I'm doing well. I hope you are too. I'm coming at you with the first original deck I've made in a little while. I was a little inspired. I was just kind of looking through my collection. You know I'm after that premium collection. I was just kind of, you know, browsing through some stuff, looking at what premiums I really, really liked. And that actually has nothing to do with this because I didn't make the cards that I liked uh, premium. But I want to make Vico Vero Novice work. I have not personally seen it played. I'm sure there are decks out there running it, but I want to give it a shot. So we are playing a deck called Full Tempo Alchemist. We're running Morvan Voorhees. Obviously, it's a reveal deck, but with the twist. So my thinking is, I'll I'll explain it as we go. First and foremost, we, we got kind of a standard uh, package for reveal. We got three golems. We got three uh, Dareland foot soldiers. We got three spotters. We got three novices. And we got three full moon potions. So that's, that's when things get a little weird. In the silver slots, we got marching orders. Just for some consistency, it'll always, always, always pull out a novice unless we somehow have all of them in our hands. We've got Commander's Horn. More on that in a minute. We've got Roach for thinning and just, you know, some value. We got Cynthia. Love that card. We've got Ox and we've got Peter. The locks are just Ox locks. It's the best lock in the game, essentially, except for some fringe cases where you need, like, the damage from Fiend or the reset from Margarita. It's it's just really good. It's almost as strong as uh, Radovid in sheer lockdown potential. Peter for those resets against uh, Scoia Spell and a lot of decks. For golds, we're running Yennefer. More on that in a second. We're running Leo Bonhart. We're running Vati de Ridu. Rido? I don't know. For more uh, reveal shenanigans. And we're running Geralt. So this deck has two game plans. The first is um, first turn. Uh, we win or lose the coin flip. Doesn't matter. We play Morvin. We reveal a bunch of stuff in his hand. We get our three golems out. Um, alternate start could be Cynthia into Morvin. But anyway... We get our stuff out, um, maybe play a, a Dareland Foot Soldier. And then um, we start, if we have a Novice, we start buffing them up with the Full Moon Potions. Once we get enough on the board, we chuck down that Commander's Horn. We basically just want to swarm the board in round one with as much power as we possibly can, as quick as we can. So if we get all three Golems out and a couple Foot Soldiers, maybe get a Novice or even a, a Cynthia, out ASAP, chuck down a commander's horn. That's a ton of points, fast, bang, 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 hitting the opponent, and hopefully they uh, they pass. Because round two and round three, we have an alternate plan of attack. Um, Yennefer is of course to uh, help with the uh, the buffing in round one as well. Ox and Peter are just there to uh, be utility cards. Marching Orders is there to help us get that Vic of Aromatic. But in the late game, um, for more consistency, we got Vati. He can uh, chuck down some more Dareland Foot Soldiers so that we can thin our deck as much as we can. But we got Leo Bonhart into Geralt into a bunch of spotters. That is a, a relatively common finisher for reveal. Will it go well for us? I don't know. Maybe we do want to double down on the Swarm. Maybe we want to get the... Um, Oh, what are they called? Let, let's find them here. Let's find them here. Um, ba -dum -ba -bum. The Alba Pikemen. You know, maybe we want to chuck them down round one and then do all of our combos and shenanigans just to flood the board even more. But I kind of like having two game plans with this deck. Reveal is kind of a rare archetype already, especially in ranked. So putting a twist on something that's not even that common is it's risky. I think we've got a decent theory behind this deck i think it's got the potential it's also got some kind of inherent cheekiness to it like um, if somebody plays a real strong jenga front we can kill that with um leo and the Geralt. if we're against a dagon we have a yennefer and we've got some swarm tactics so his yen will be less valuable and our yen will be twice as valuable essentially because we can make that chiron x we're against a rat of it so we don't want full moon potion at all so we'll get rid of both of those. And we also don't want Imperial Golems. And we're okay. Hmm. I should have looked at my full hand before I did any of that. That was me being a dumbass. Pardon my French. So now 
we are playing a little behind. It's fine to have one Imperial Golem to be able to uh, mill away. That's not the end of the world. But it's definitely not what I wanted. So he has tempo out the wazoo as well. That's okay. So we're going to reveal uh, one of his cards. Then we're going to reveal our foot soldier. And we're going to reveal two more cards. The order didn't matter there so, so much. Okay. So we have more in our deck that we don't want to draw than I thought about. Our mulligan is, is rougher than anticipated. What kind of a deck is this guy running? He's got Operator. He's got Banner Tutors. He's got some weird stuff going on, which is okay, but a little strange. So what do we want to do here? Play that with four cards. We want more than four cards for the, uh, the full moon potion. No good lock targets. Uh, Vatir is not a bad card. Our mulligan really sucked. Is is kind of our issue right now. I think we play a spotter. And we, we grab that 9 value. It's not 10 out of 10. I'm hoping he doesn't kill anything else. If he does, that's unfortunate. Maybe we should chuck in one of those uh, overdose potions. I think this deck has potential. I think we boned ourselves a little bit more than uh, I would like to admit. So this should grab a, uh, a novice here. And that'll chuck down a full moon potion. It's not um, all the value possible, but the next one will be. Is he gonna give us like a reaver hunter? He is. Weird, okay. That is fine. Okay, so that's that's max value out of that potion. Our hand is atrocious now. It is very not good. Is he going to have to play one more card? He's not going to have to play one more card. Tisk tisk. We can play this. It's full value. It means our mulligan is just the worst, though. Oh man, we do it. We gotta. We gotta make do with what we got. We we gotta make do with what we got. He's got commander's horn too. Oh my god, get out of here! That's rough. We gotta pass. We gotta pass. This is not a good representative game. Because I made a mistake. And you know what? Maybe I made a mistake in deck building. Maybe we only want two Imperial Golems. Maybe we only want two uh, Novices. Getting Geralt here is quite nice. I'm gonna chuck Roach out instead. Uh, no, I'll chuck the Golem out. We can chuck Roach out next time. Commander's Horn is almost a dead card. If he dry passes, we're playing the Reaver Hunter 100% because he's got Summoning Circle, and we don't want to enable that. He can enable that himself. We don't need to help him. Shoot. Okay. So we got to play something stronger than that. Which does not give us... <laughs> many options I'm afraid but we got that um what do we want to reveal I suppose we do reveal Geralt just because we can't guarantee that we have Leo and we'll uh, reveal the Reaver Hunter as well so he's got Igni Ooh. is he gonna try and and 2 -well us here So this won't make me uh, a target no. to Gigney yet. Okay. 
Okay, get locked. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, so he's trying to 2-0 us. So we gotta play the lowest tempo stuff that we can right now, and then Commander Sworn it once he's, uh... Oh. Hmm. Okay, so we're going in three for three. I can chuck Roach out, and I will, because Commander's Horn is is still decent value. There's no reason to mulligan uh, Commander's Horn over Roach here. That would be asinine. Of course, we drew Leo Bonhart. Of course, we did. That's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. Um, so I will reveal the Foot Soldier. We'll get Roach out, and we got Yennefer. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. So our biggest hurdle right now is playing around Geralt Igni. This is a great Yana for Unicorn. We're getting uh, four value out of it. He's only getting one value out of it. And by four, I mean eight and one, two. Okay, the Blue Stripe Scout bothers me not. So he has no more Reaver Hunters. Yeah. So all we have to do is not enable Gigni. And we can do that. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So depending on what he does here. So uh, this would be... So we're at 13. Uh, we'd bat 17... 21 we would be right at 25 so we don't want to do that here uh, we're at 14 18 yes correct right 22 okay we won oh my gosh okay i'm very surprised um huh do we want to just roll with that as it is? Or do we want to edit it? I think let's roll with it. If we have a similar situation, we'll get rid of, I think, one golem and we'll chuck in one overdose potion, which might be overkill. You know who else would be very interesting in this deck? Running Vesemir instead of instead of Geralt but Geralt's really good for this spot I don't know I don't know anyway let's take a look at our whole hand all right so we don't want golems straight up we don't want them we don't want an extra full moon and we don't want roach okay much better mulligan we do have a full moon potion in our hand and we've got all three of our, our novices that's not ideal but it's okay it is all right uh, so we don't have um, Commander Sworn either, so that's fine. All right, so he's got an Arc Griffin. We got 16 tempo. No problem. No problem. Uh, once we get rid of... Uh, oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't expect that. That really, really threw me off. Um, so, yeah, it depends what we draw. We, we super don't want a Golem. And we, uh, we don't really want those uh, full moon potions. Mm -mm -mm. Well, then what what do you get rid of? I think you get rid of the golem. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We, we gotta we gotta thin our deck. It's important. So we want to reveal exclusively his cards, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of pick them piecemeal here. We get four to choose from. So what you got? All right, so this is a swarm deck. He's got a free, he's got Commander's Horn. We see it. Of course, he's got Woodland Spirit. Who doesn't? Um, do I want to do this? Or do I just want to pass? He's probably got Renew. 
Yeah, show me more of his cards. Show me, show me. Alright. So we will reveal... We'll reveal a spotter. No. We won't. We'll reveal marching orders because it doesn't tell him anything. And we'll reveal the novice as well. Okay. So we, we don't see renew. We see drowners. We see a lot of drowners. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's unfortunate. So we want to play Into the Fog. I'm only, I think, going to play this card. It's it's decent tempo, and it thins a little bit more. Yeah, that's that's what we want to do here. Marching orders could draw us a spotter, but it could draw a foot soldier as well, and we're not super keen on that. So we're still down here. We're still down. We could just keep kind of spamming the full moon potions. Hmm. Depends how far we want to, you know, drain this guy, though. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know is the answer. Because if we don't, then his round three is still, like, incredibly powerful, right? Okay. We'll do it again. So the, these are going to be dead cards, but we can mulligan one away. Which is not the end of the world. It's not, you know, 10 out of 10. But it's not the end of the world either. Um, That is about as perfect as that can be. Because you just say goodbye. And now we're actually... Up in tempo by a good little bit. That was a uh, a twenty point play. Then he does it again. We've got ox for that very reason, though. I doubt he's got Gigney, but he might. Let's just uh, keep keep rolling with the potions, honestly. <laughs> We're still ahead in tempo by a good bit. We want him to use Commander's Horn. We, we super want him to do that. I don't want a, a foot soldier. You've given me a foot soldier. I'm not pleased. But we've got no way to reveal them at this point anyway. So yeah, the uh, the mulligan in this deck is hell. It's it's far too high rolling, and we need to address that. Okay, so if he's got Gigney, he's gonna play it now, which is okay. Yep, the Efreet has to come out eventually. Commander's Horn is the next logical step. Well, you know what? We're just we're just here to make him bleed. We're just here to make him bleed. The next card I play is probably going to be my last. And it'll probably be Ox onto that Ekimara. And onto a Foglet. Yeah, bothers me not. Bothers me not. So, there you go. Get out of dodge. Really, really wanted to play Commander's Horn. Would really like that. Yes. Okay, he's done it. Does he still have Renew in hand? Very possible. But we bled him as as far as we possibly could. Because if we played the uh, the novice, then he knows we've got Gigni or we've got just regular Geralt in hand, and we can't beat him with that. So he'll just pass. The foot soldiers with no reveal hurts. Ooh, Commander Soren is not a ten out of ten either. All right, before the final game, we're gonna go back to the drawing board on this one. We're gonna lose, but we're gonna we're gonna play it out. Maybe he somehow 
breaks his hand and loses the game for himself. I don't know. I doubt it. Can't imagine it. We'll find out. So I'm thinking probably one less uh, golem, one less foot soldier maybe as well. Because we just we don't have a ton of reveal, actually. Yeah, there you go. Be a, be a good neighbor. Buff your friends, harpies. I want to see his last card. It was Yen. Yeah, fair enough. All right. GG. GG. Sylvanas Menethil. That is... That's weird, dude. That is uh That's a Warcraft coupling that, that just ain't right. Um, for those that don't know about World of Warcraft, <laughs> Sylvanas was killed by Arthas Menethil. I don't think they like each other very much. Okay, okay, okay. So. So, so, so. So I think we do add in that overdose. So that way, having a full moon potion is okay in our hand. And we've, we've got other options. I think that's a good call. I think we do get rid of a foot soldier. And a golem, perhaps. And maybe roach also. What do we take instead of roach? I don't think Scorch. Dorgary is always an option. We could do uh, some funky stuff with Serret, right? He's good now. But yeah, I think we take our Roach. We we thin pretty hard, and we need to uh, we need we need a little more consistency. So what if actually we take out a Spotter as well? Okay. So, for, <laughs> this is not normally what the videos are about, but sometimes you gotta you gotta fix your deck. We could chuck in Swears. Why don't we actually? Swears is a good tech card. Yeah, and then for our remaining Bronzies, what about an Alchemist? I mean, he's in the in the name of the deck, right? We could go two alchemists here. I think this is better. We definitely have less swarm potential than we did previously, though. So maybe just one alchemist, and we'll chuck that golem back in. Or should we chuck the foot soldier back in? We'll chuck the foot soldier back in. Yeah. I think this is fine. Because we've got reveal, 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 reveal. Self reveals, I mean. Hmm. I am tempted to chuck in Bessemer. instead of Geralt. And then I'd get rid of Leo as well, and the spotters. Maybe even chuck in like assassination or Gigni. Anyway, we're not gonna we're not gonna theorycraft live. <laughs> let's uh, let's hop into the next game. We're one for one. Even if we go one and two, I'm actually gonna be pretty pleased. I think this is a cool deck. I think it's got cool stuff going on. You know what what might be interesting actually? <laughs> He says, after proclaiming he will not theorycraft, um, Triss Butterfly Spell in this deck. If we um, put back put back the Golem and head the uh, the Foot Soldiers, or the, the Pikemen, I mean, that could be real interesting. Okay. So this is already feeling better. So we'll get those Golems out of here. We got three of our Golds. We got Swears. We're against Monsters. Swears is a, a gosh darn gem against monsters. I'm happy to have Overdose in hand, actually. Uh, Marching Orders can bring out one of the other ones. I think I'm just happy with this hand. Uh, it's a shame to not have Cynthia. 
but I think that's that's going to be okay. So he has to go first. So we will uh, we'll play Mormon. We will reveal three of his cards and then one of ours, the Foot Soldier. Or actually, we'll just reveal four of his cards. And then with uh, Vatir, we will reveal these two. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I basically just want to want to open ourselves up for the best uh, Sweers play possible. Okay, so he's got Yennefer, Renew, Morfarg, and another Harpy. So I'm glad we did not use Sweers on that Harpy because it would not have been great value. Could be good on the Vran now, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna play a Vatir. And we will reveal a uh, disguise, and uh, we'll reveal marching orders too because it doesn't tell him a whole lot. Okay, so we got a novice. That's pretty good. I like that. Okay, we are in a, a privileged position. We get to chuck out Neckers. That is so nice. I'm I'm a huge fan of that. <laughs> that happening uh, if he passes here we're in a grand spot but Yen is the more likely outcome so I can just uh, do Chironex and completely un undo that but we're going to wait on that actually we're going to play marching orders first we're going to get that novice and we're going to buff ourselves If he passes, we're still in a fine position. Now is when we Yennefer. 100% now is when we Yennefer. Because it'll kill those two eggs. Yeah. You dropped the wrong Boom. So 74 to 71 changes to 53 to 55. Well, it's not a huge, huge, huge swing because um, obviously the eggs just turned into harpy hatchlings, but it's good. It's still very good. So he's going to do that again. That's no surprise. We are going to overdose and hope for the best. If it does not work out, that's okay. Okay, it, it hit one of them. It hit one of them. So I can see his hand. I know what he's got. And I think we can just overpower him with our with our moon potions. So let's. He'll obviously get a huge, huge boost from eating that harpy egg. But the necker is largely inconsequential. Renew is dead. It does not do anything right now at all. Uh, Morvud's not dead. But at best, it's uh, like a 10 value on one of our 11s, which will increase to um, like a 12 value with, with another full moon potion going on. And the Unseen Elder has no amazing consume targets. The biggest threat is um, the Arrakis Hatchlings, which is a threat. Don't get, don't get me wrong. He can, uh, he can summon a good amount just from his hero power, or from, from his hero, I suppose. So... Do we go for the 14 point play to put us ahead? We do, because if he plays his Unseen Elder, it'll buff the Necker up to 10, and that'll be another 14 points from our spotter. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, it's, it's bomb deck thinning. Okay, that's unfortunate. I did not want him to play the Necker. I wanted him to play Unseen Elder. Alright, um, we're going to pass on that. Yep, yeah, we're going to pass on that. If he would have did it the other way, that would have been the round for us. 
but as is, he's just generating a little too much tempo. Or, you know, he's, he's got his engine working, basically. All right, so we got Ox. Ox is real good. Peter Sar Levy also real good. Uh, we're going to get rid of a spotter because they are not um, doing a whole lot right now. Alchemist is pretty good. Alchemist is kind of our, our dead drop here. If he dry passes, we'll play him, reveal one of his cards, see what's up. Would have been lovely. Would have been the round for us if we had Peter last time. We could have uh, played it on the round. You just you just play in Yen. All right. That's very strange. It would have been better to play Chironex, value wise. Um, he would have had a a five and a four. He'd be at. Oh wait, he'd be at nine. Either way, huh? Okay, um, well, we're going to play with Leo. We're going to play it on our Alchemist. And we're, we're just going to kill Yen. What a strange play. Maybe he didn't want us seeing his other cards? Alright, um, sure. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say to that, I guess. I mean, Peter is so valuable if he's got more Vran. The Alchemist, I almost have to leave in my hand. Because of uh, the Spotter. I suppose I could just play the Spotter, but I don't like really want to do that. Let's just play Ox, I guess. I don't know, let's... What he's doing is just strange. Like he, he's bleeding me for some reason. I think Ox was the best thing that we could do there. Cause if he's got a Vran, whatever, at this point, he's he's played all of his harpies, I swears his neckers. Um, he played two Arrakis behemoths. Like what what's the Vran gonna do value wise? Not much. Um playing Ox there eliminated one of his, his potential unseen elder targets, so yeah, okay, we're, we're going into the final round, 3-2. to two. He should have just dry-passed. He wasted Yen. Honestly, I, I don't mean to be rude at all. Certainly not, but I, I really do think he wasted Yen. Um, so Peter's a good card, but I think in the Sitch, you uh, you get rid of Peter. Cynthia's actually really good. I like okay, so there, there's a Ram. That's funny. That's funny. Um, so next turn... We'll play a spotter on our alchemist, and then we'll reveal our own card and get a little more draw. Varu. All right, so we're at 23 points and two cards, and he forfeited. All right, we went two and one. I think the changes that we made are really good. We're climbing back up, having a little more fun with Gwent. I, I never want to fall out of love with Gwent, but we uh, I'm hyped for that content patch. I'm, I'm a little weary from uh, getting my butt kicked on the ladder, but anyway... This has been Full Tempo Alchemist. If you liked the deck, let me know. I think this is one of the cooler decks that I've made, maybe. I don't want to toot my own horn too, too much, but I don't know. I, I have, I've legitimately never seen anybody playing Vico Vera Novice, or if I have, I don't remember it, so clearly not many people are playing it. But yeah, I think that's a very cool deck. I think it actually might be viable, too. I might play a little more of this deck in Ranked. We'll see. But anyway... If you've been enjoying the content, subscribe if you want to see more. It it really helps out a lot. I, I'm guilty of not subscribing to channels that I enjoy out of laziness. But subscribing helps uh, myself and John grow our channel. It gives us motivation to keep doing this thing. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've got an idea for a deck, I'd love to hear it. I've only done one fan deck so far. And it worked out pretty well, actually. But until then, I hope your coffee stays warm. I hope your day goes well. I'll see you tomorrow.